How do? Tom here. Coming at you with another tobacco review. As you guessed by the title, maybe by the music. Rattrays, Old Gallery. One well, I've been meaning to retry for a while. First tried it. Going back some years now. 2014, something like that. Um, and just could not remember quite what I thought of it. So, what to give it another try. And also, the blend club I'm in is this month's blend. So, there is that. You can never have too many excuses. Not when the wife's asking questions. So, Rattray's Old Gowrie. So called, I believe, because Perthshire in Scotland, or Perth, one or the other, the area around it is known as Gowrie, or was known as Gowrie at one point. Would you believe I've sealed this a bit too tight? Hang on. It's all going wrong today, folks. This is the tobacco. So I've made my way through like a good half of it by now. And it's sort of a, it's kind of like a broken flake. Very uh, similar cut to um, McConnell's Scottish cake, if you've ever had that. That's what the cut reminds me of. Uh, tobacco, quite a bit different. Um, similar categories, but altogether different smokes. And when I say similar categories, compositions are very similar. Old Gallery is Kentucky, Virginia and Perique, I believe more Kentucky forward. Smokes very very cool. Uh, Perique is very much a supporting character but a minor supporting character in this one. It's more Kentucky and Virginia. What I have found with this tobacco is, for me anyway, it benefits from a good drying tan. So, I'd normally do a drying tan on a tobacco uh, if it felt like it needed it. But Old Gallery, I, I tend to give it a little bit longer than normal. Normal would be like anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. Old Gallery, I leave about an hour or so. I do the same with Cabbage Mixture. Get it nice and air dried, and uh, it tends to bring out the best in the blend. Smoking once again in my car. Let's just start. Well, I said before, it's, it's colouring up nicely. And I'm not smoking it because it's March and March Mayhem and all that. I just hadn't had a smoke for a few days for no particular reason, just didn't fancy it and um, first pipe came to hand. I think I must have had a bit of time off because I've, I have been caning it a little bit to be honest. So my mouth needed a rest. But anyway, the tobacco. Smokes incredibly cool with just some subtle hints of spice every now and then. It's not harsh, no tongue bite whatsoever from this blend, um, as you would expect. There's nothing there that should really give you tongue bite. I suppose if maybe you were puffing it really hard, perhaps. So then, if you were, if you were if you were really trying, if tongue bite was your aim, I'm sure you'd be able to get it, but. I'm also sure you'll be able to get it off anything if you try and add enough. Well, yeah, it is a grand smoke. It's 
often referred to as Hallow the Wind Light. Um, I can see that. I can see that. It's not as uh, strong in terms of uh, nicotine as Hallow the Wind, which is, you know, not a bad thing. In fact, I'll be honest, I think I prefer Old Gallery over the, over the uh, Hallow the Wind. Um, both outstanding smokes, though. both very clean tasting tobaccos when you're smoking them. I'm also a big fan of Marlin Flake, but that's for another video. So you get your usual Virginia notes. Slightly, uh, slightly grassy. Slightly stewed fruit like. Um, you get your typical kind of figgy perique notes. Here and there, though, quite toned down on this blend. And then you get the, uh, the cool smokiness of the Kentucky. A little bit of earth. If you like good Virginia based blends, and you've not tried this one then uh, I would suggest it, it is really good um, surprising because you don't get much from the tin note it just, it just smells kind of nondescript when you're smoking it you just really are giving a whole other experience yeah definitely one that's worth cellaring as well I would say so stock up on it. What would I give it? Mm. Do you know what? I would probably say I would give this a 5 out of 5, which is a rare score for me. But it's not so mild that you might as well be smoking fresh air. But at the same time, it's not so strong that you can't smoke it all day. You could easily smoke this all day. The flavour always delivers. Um, I always enjoy this blend when I smoke it. So, yeah. I would definitely, uh, I would give this one a solid 5 out of 5. It's a fantastic they can purr. And yeah, I would say highly recommended. I will be buying more of it. I will be uh, adding some to the stock lines. A more enjoyable smoke, indeed. So yeah, that was Rattray's or Gowry. So thanks for watching. If you still have more videos to come, which I say every time, and then don't do one for ages. But yes, more videos to come. Um, I finally added an idea for my giveaway. So. Expect a video about that this weekend, which if you're watching this week, this video, after I've done it, then it was the other weekend, or a while back. Anyway, it doesn't matter, let's not go into it. Right, have yourselves a wonderful evening, or whatever time of day you're watching this, and take care. I will be back with more videos very, very soon indeed. So, take it easy. Cheers.